Hey, good morning. Tuesday for everybody else in the world. Monday for me. Hey there. So, I haven't really stepped away much. Stepped away earlier just to get a sandwich. Been a, been a pretty, pretty, pretty. It's been a bitty. It has been a pretty busy day for me. Anyway, how's your day going? My day? It's going splendidly. Mmm. Yep. Cold coffee. You know what cold coffee needs? Cold coffee needs ice. So, I've actually been asking a lot of people when I'm on the phone, how are they doing? Checking in on the hospitals, making sure that they're doing okay. If they need anything or if, how are they, what is their solution for dealing with this whole COVID-19 issue? It's been, uh, it's been quite interesting. Uh, it's been really actually quite interesting talking to these different hospitals and talking to the veterans themselves um, on how they're handling their day-to-days. It's pretty enlightening. Uh, if you get a chance, talk to other people. Talk to people that live in different cities, different states. You know, get a, get a view outside of your media box. It'd be pretty eye-opening. Has been for me. So I'm going to work another couple hours and then, um, so that is my immediate plan. And from there, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm going for dinner. Last night, though, we had those subs for dinner. And oh man, let me tell you, those things were delicious. Reminded me so much of home. Maybe I'll make one today um, just, to, just to show you how I do it. They are incredible. They're delicious. They're easy to make. They take five, ten minutes in the oven. Um, they're just, they're really, really good. So, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll make one tonight and uh, just, you know, show you guys how to do it. Well, I was really hoping to go out and get a walk in just to be able to get it, get some air in my lungs and get out of the house for them. But it seems that Mother Nature, you know, Mama Nature is got other plans <laughs> those plans don't include me walking yeah it's starting to rain rain is good right I mean that's what they tell us rain is good you shouldn't be having a lot of wildfires this year theoretically actually when I looked at the weather channel it actually said that there was supposed to be a thunderstorm tonight which I would not be upset with I'm gonna say that the walk is not happening. Take a look. That's like snow, hail, sleet, something. Uh, I'm gonna be wrapping things up, but I wanted to take you downstairs and show you what I'm making for dinner because I had talked to you guys about what I was gonna make for dinner. It is April 1st tomorrow, okay? That's snow. It's snowing outside. I was riding my motorcycle two weeks ago. Nutty. Mother Nature, man, she is not happy. This is a real quick dinner. All right, so real quick. This is, this was something that, <clears throat> this was something that my mom used to make um, quite a lot. Um, and the reason why is because we had the pizza restaurant right up the street. And in Indiana, you know all about the Pizza King. And the Pizza King makes sub sandwiches, and they are the bomb.com. Way before Subway ever started their thing or 
Quiznos or any of those. I'm actually using a sourdough roll, all right? I use three types of meat. I use pepperoni. So I like a nice little, I like a nice little zing, all right? So a couple of slices. I'm probably gonna put three or four slices on there because I like pepperoni. Salami, I love a good salami. A couple, three slices of that. Now you can use the cured, uncured, doesn't matter, whatever you want to do. Then, I like to use pastrami. Now if I had some good fresh pastrami from a good deli, I'd be using that, but I don't, so not. All right, so you get the meats on. Then, it's mozzarella. I'm just gonna put a nice little bed of mozz right there on the other side of the bun. All right, and put some over here on the other, on top of the meat. Doesn't have to be pretty, cause it's gonna go in the oven. It's gonna melt down and get all yummy and warm and delicious. What I do like to do is I like to add a little warmth, a little heat, a little yumminess to it. So what I'm using is Mama Lil's peppers. These things are awesome. So, take a couple of those. You got the meat, you got the cheese, you got the peppers. All right. And we're gonna tie it all together. This is a leftover container from last night. This is just plain old tomato sauce. No spices, nothing in it. Um, you can feel free to add spices to it. Garlic, Italian seasoning, whatever you wanna do. There you go, sub sandwich. Put this bad boy in the oven. I keep my oven set for these at 425. Set for 425. Leave them in there for, uh, I think, five, 10 minutes, something like that. Basically until the until the cheese is melted and the meat's crispy and cooked and the bread's warm. Get some of this cold cut meat, right? Get some of this stuff. I think these are two or $3 a pack you can get. Well, I'll be able to get three more sandwiches out of these. So for the cost of going to Subway or Quiznos or anything else, you can make five or six of these at home. So especially right now with everybody worried about COVID and trying to make a lot of meals last and that type of thing. This is a great way to have something quick. So that way you're not going out to big corporate restaurants or anything like that. All right. So that's looking. That's where you want it to look. That's going to be yummy. It's going to be delicious. There it is. That is a sub sandwich that I will devour. Take this bread. Flip that bad boy right on top, just like that. And it becomes your bottom while it's still nice and hot. Take a knife. Oozy, cheesy, melty. My cheese is all melted all over. Anyway, that's it. Enjoy. We love you guys. Bye.